So we are recording. Hi, my name is uh, Noah Lance. I am Arc Science Account Executive. I'm sitting here with Kitty and Joel from waterproof.com. Um, they've kind of approached us with an interest in kind of sharing uh, this application uh, with their customers. So we are recording this kind of demo to show you exactly how ArcSight works. Um, so before we jump into that, folks, I'm doing all this from this tablet. So all the drawings you're going to see me doing, all the tab, all the uh, calculations, the estimates that we're going to create, we're doing this on the go. And the idea is you can use our device, create professional CAD designs and create estimates all through simply drawing a picture in front of your customers. So this creates a very consultative, rapport building atmosphere to help your kind of in-home sales process. Um, so yeah, just to help orient you a little bit with what you're looking at, this is the ArcSight Digital Canvas. ArcSight kind of at its heart is really a drawing program. At the top of your screen, there is a ruler going from left to right. In this case, it says zero to 88 feet. There's another one going from top to bottom on the left. Um, because this is a digital piece of paper, you can essentially change the scale of your drawing by placing two fingers on the tablet and then zooming out and zooming in. So as you get good with ArcSight, you're going to find yourself drawing things like at a larger scale, zooming in maybe to add important details or notes, and then zooming back out and manipulating things kind of as required. So as you can see, this is a very powerful system that lets you just kind of quickly and intuitively draw uh, to scale in perfectly straight lines or arcs. So my recommended workflow when you pull up in front of a house, folks, first thing you do is you enter in some customer information. That's a little boring, so we're going to skip that step for today's demo. Um, but after that, you just go to the location-based photo tool here on the right, tap anywhere on the screen, and then you're going to take a photo of the front of the house using the iPad's built-in camera. So we're going to kind of select an existing photo from my library since I'm not actually in front of a home. There we go. So now this image is now embedded into this icon on this digital piece of paper. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to walk around the home and take your measurements. So you might walk around the inside or outside depending exactly on your company and what you folks sell. But for the sake of the demonstration, let's say we're going to be walking around the outside. So if we take a look at the photo, we have kind of the side of the garage over here. That might be the first dimension you take. So you would just select the wall or draw tool from this right-hand menu, place your finger on the screen, and then just draw a line here that represents the wall. Now, any object you draw on ArcSight kind of has a life of its own. It's an object that you can kind of select and move around or duplicate. Um, in this case, this wall is only 17 feet long. So we might want to change that dimension to maybe more like 20 feet, for instance. So I can just type in a dimension manually. The line will grow to that new scale. Now, taking a look back at this photo, we see the front of the patio. That might be the next measurement we take. So we would take that dimension in real life using a measure tape, measure wheel, laser meter, and then again, just draw that dimension in. Everything you do in ArcSight, guys, is just as easy as placing your finger on the screen and then tracing, essentially. Now, at this point, physically, we would be standing somewhere to the left of the patio. So we would take another location-based photo from that perspective and put it into the canvas. So let's do one from that perspective there. And then we can rotate this camera icon to indicate we were looking towards that side of the house. Now we would draw the back wall. At this point, we're in the backyard. So I'm going to take another location-based photo from that perspective. Again, we're going to rotate this, indicate we're looking towards the back of the home. Then we're going to continue to draw this floor plan out. Now I know I'm drawing at 90 degree angles. You don't have to do that. Uh, you can draw at angles like that, or even draw arcs. Um, you can manipulate all this stuff again just by typing in dimensions. In this case, I changed the radius just by typing in a different uh, radius measurement. So again, very, very simple to work with, folks. You can see here that as I kind of approach this lower line, the wall even snaps to when it's flush, that leftmost one. So this just makes it very, very intuitive and easy to draw with while you're actively walking around talking to someone. All right, so now we've kind of completed our perimeter measurements. Depending on what you're going to be selling, you may actually draw individual rooms. That's something you can also do in ArcSight, obviously. 
uh, a little bit of a weird floor plan, but we'll just roll with it. Um, next thing you might do is go ahead and draw in some uh, openings and shapes. So we have an openings tool here to the right. This quickly lets you drop in doors, uh, windows, really whatever you need to do just around the house. So again, I'm just using my hands for all this. I might do the same thing for some windows. And you can even do like a basement window or egress window um, leading into a basement, kind of using the same methodology here. Let's do a little door opening maybe going into this uh, area. And Noah, the photo functionality works just as well inside too. If you wanted to take a picture of the egress window on the inside, you could do that. Absolutely. So let's say you see like a, a wet, uh, you know, corner in the basement, let's say for example. So you could tap on that location-based photo tool and then import in or take a photo of maybe that wet basement corner that you're seeing right there. Let's go ahead and rotate this into position. All right. And then the nice thing is ArcSight being a drawing program, you can actually mark all these photos up. So you can do this for a couple of reasons. So you might put notes on this for your installers. The way I would use this is uh, I would actually mark up what the solution might look like. So I would show this picture to a customer and tell them, hey, you have all this, uh, you know, moisture coming into your basement from this corner. We need to do something about it. So we're going to install our interior drainage system right along here. That's going to redirect all this water coming into your basement into that track. Then it's going to flow into a sump pump, maybe installed in your corner. And then you could add notes here. Kind of indicate that. So we can say like sump pump here. Folks, if you see something that is just a little bit off and you might, you might even think it might cause issues with the installation, obviously you want to let the customer know about that in advance. Uh, to cover your butt, you can even have them initial this, just so you have documentation that they, they did take a look at the photos with all your notes. So they could just kind of easily initial that right there with the customer's signature. If you also sell foundation repair equipment, you know, you can actually mark this up to indicate where your peers are going to go just by drawing little arrows, for instance. Show that to your customers, show that to your installers. You want to create a shared set of expectations with these photos and the CAD design. And you want everyone to be on the same page before the job ever proceeds. Now, if we go to the shape tool over here, uh, we can add different types of visual information just by dragging and dropping these symbols onto the canvas. So I can search through a library of about you know, 2,500 shapes that we have here in ArcSight. These are all preloaded. You can also create your own custom shapes, but we can just kind of quickly drag and drop these into position. And we also have different shape libraries you can navigate through. So we have one here for foundation companies. Um, a lot of waterproofers could probably use these too. These indicate where things like gas meters, AC units, um, you know, different uh, types of equipment are in the, are in the, uh, the map. And then drop a couple of these symbols in just to build this out just a bit more. All right. So at this point, this is a, a pretty good CAD design, um, but this is just really the home kind of as is. So what sets ArcSight apart from it simply just being a drawing program is the idea of visual estimation, creating an estimate through drawing a picture. So if I go to products over here at the top right, um, I can select from a list of fully customizable drawing tools, essentially. But when you draw from this menu, ArcSight adds everything up for you and then creates an estimate automatically. So you don't need to put information or do takeoffs on a separate piece of information and then put that onto an estimate. ArcSight does all that work for you. So looking at this picture, Joel, what are some things you might do um, to the basement of this home? Yeah, so um, adding, let's just say our fast track uh, basement system around the perimeter, um, putting in a sump basin. So let's um, maybe focus on this area right here. So I'm gonna select fast track basement system. That's a line that I'm just gonna draw. So I'm just gonna place that on the interior of that kind of basement here. Yep. There we go. And then that would feed into one of your sump pumps. 
Correct. So we'd select that sump pump here from the menu, then push that wherever it's gonna go. And once I place the sump pump, I can click on it, just with my finger, then go to attributes. And now I can tell the system about the sump pump, like what type of basin it has, or what type of lid it has, if it's battery backup or not. All right, so we installed the drainage system here, and what else are we doing? Um, you know, if part of it was, was a crawl space, um, you, could, you could put a, uh, our Vapor Bright crawl space liner down. Okay, cool. So let's say this room up at the top was a crawl space for some reason. We would select that object from this menu, then go to fill area, pick internal point, and then just tap on the inside. It'll automatically fill it up with that product type. So we have a shape-based product, a line-based product, and then an area-based product. Um, what else might you do here? Well, if there were some cracks, you could, you could use our crack filler um, to kind of seal up some of those cracks. So I'm gonna select that from the menu, move it to where that crack is on the drawing. Then I'm gonna go, go to attributes, select an injection type, and then maybe how big the crack is, let's say. And then finally, if there was um, an exterior gutter or a sump pump where you wanted to discharge our underground downspout kit, you could certainly do that. Okay, so I'm gonna select underground downspout kit and I can move this shape into position. It's just going to snap into the wall. Oh, I accidentally duplicated it. Let's uh, go back a little bit. All right, so it's gonna snap into that wall. And at that point, I can select an exterior French drain and then actually indicate where that's going to go. Let's get this tree out of the way. It's going to appear in a little bit. Well, my iPad is slowing down a little bit. Okay. There we go. Cool. That would feed into a drain basin at that point. There you go. We can move this tree back. Probably not gonna do a French train system right next to a tree. We'll move that farther out. <laughs> um, all right, so I think that's a pretty decent enough drawing. Anything else here you might do? No, that, that looks good. Um, and then um, you'll explain to them how you can kind of uh, add your, your pricing to all this stuff as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. So again, this is all fully customizable, folks. So whatever you sell, whether it's foundation repair equipment, uh, waterproofing.com's uh, products, or um, really anything else. You create all this stuff, you set it up, we will train you on how to do that. That's included with your subscription. So don't worry about that and we'll show you how to do it all. Um, but yeah, at this point, you have actually drawn up your scope of work and we're actually going to create an estimate to leave behind with the customer. And believe it or not, all the paperwork's already done just for you drawing this photo. So a couple things here first, you might uh, select a couple lines here and add some dimensions that might be important to do. We can move these all out of the way to make sure it uh, flows nicely. And uh, yeah, you might sit down with the customer, ask their permission to review some of the photos. So you might click through some of these and show them a couple things you kind of observed while you were walking around. Like on that wet basement, for instance, you know, you might show them that photo. They might have questions on kind of what they're looking on, looking at in the map. So if we go to take off an estimate here, we can create a live legend table. This populates with all the different products you drew just a minute ago. So it doesn't contain any superfluous information. It only shows what's important. And then we can go to take off an estimate at the top. And you can see here that based on the information you drew in, ArcSight prices everything out for you. So it tallied up, for instance, how many uh, crack injections we drew and how the length of the exterior French drain, that was a 15 foot French drain we drew earlier. 77 feet of that fast track basement system with one underground downspout kit, and then a vapor bright vapor barrier. Um, in this case, we're missing some required data, so I can click on this and then select what size of a uh, vapor bright you're installing. It'll price it out differently depending on which one you select. And then as needed, you can adjust all this pricing. So if you want to charge a bit extra for your work, not a problem. You can just click on adjust pricing to adjust any line item uh, pricing, or you can adjust the total price by clicking here and mark it up or discount it. If you see something on the job that you need to charge a bit extra for, but you can't anticipate the pricing for in advance, you can go to add other items and then add custom pricing here. 
So for instance, you know, moving furniture. You can charge an extra, let's say 75 bucks for that. That'll populate right at the bottom and then, you know, create the total price there. Then if we go to additional data, um, here we can add warranties and brochures. I mean, we're creating some paperwork, so we probably wanna leave some brochures indicating the type of stuff we're gonna install and maybe how it's gonna be put in. These could be things like um, your proof of insurance, W-9, um, license, all that stuff. We can also add additional notes here as well. Then if we go over to payment terms, we can populate this with, um, you know, suggested deposits. Um, we're adding a monthly payment system here uh, in the near future that'll populate on the proposal. Once this is all set up, you hit the export button at the top right, select export customer proposal. And Arctite is going to take all the information that we drew here today, our drawing, the photos, the takeoff data, all the brochures. It's sending all that up into the cloud via the internet. It's compiling it onto a document with um, your logo, company address, and contact information. And then it's sending that back as a signable PDF. So this is what you can actually deliver to the customer. You can print it off, email it, whatever you want. Even have them sign it directly on your iPad while they're sitting across from you. But it's doing all that automatically. So you can just draw a picture and move on to the next job. So this is a default template. We have a couple different templates you can choose from, but your logo typically populates to the right. Company information is at the left. Then you have client info, salesperson information, a line item report complete with descriptions of everything that's being installed. Quantities and line item amounts um, automatically populate. However, you can hide those if you would like and simply show a total cost at the bottom, which is what most people want. The next page has your CAD design. If you take a look here, you'll notice that the photo icons have turned red. They have little white numbers on the inside. If you go to the next page, it actually has all the photos you take um, listed with the numbers. So it corresponds the photos with a perspective on the floor plan. Legend populates right there. Then you have a place for the customer to sign. If they want to sign right away, we have a signature tool here at the top right. They can just sign and get going. You can move that into position. Then moving on, you have your terms and conditions, all your legalese automatically populated. Um, complete with any warranties and then brochures. So guys, just through drawing a picture, we created an 11 page estimate. Uh, once you get good with the system or even just moderately, you know, working with it, you can knock all this out in about five minutes. So you don't have to spend time in your car or at the kitchen table with somebody taking up their time and yours, creating an estimate that may or may not be accurate. ArcSight is 100% accurate every single time and it's incredibly quick. If you have a company account, you can access everybody's drawings from the web too. So you could have five people out in the field doing estimates and then somebody sitting back at the office taking a look at all these estimates and drawings as they come in. So this is a very, very powerful system. Um, Joel and Kitty, do you have any questions uh, or anything you'd like to mention to uh, people watching this? Uh, yeah, no, I think, I think it's good. I've seen this demo a couple times and every time I, I see something new that, that I'm amazed at. Um, so we think it's a, a great tool and um, a lot of our customers would, would benefit from it. Yeah. And I, I should mention here that we have actually set up some products that we can import directly into ArcSight for you folks. So some of the setups already been done is what I'm trying to say. Um, so you just sign up uh, with Joel, Kitty and I, and we'll, we'll get you all taken care of and get you folks using, um, hopefully in as soon as a week after you guys get your subscription set up. So we are looking forward to uh, talking with you. If you have questions, just uh, reach out to me. If you get the contact info, Joel or Kitty will uh, deliver to you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.